Okay, okay, got when did you start getting more serious when you were in Tulsa? Yeah, it was like uh, 2011. Uh, my, my homeboy that put me on, I don't want to say put me on, he kind of just pushed me away from basketball. Uh, he passed away like two years ago. Uh, but my cousin MC, uh, he's out here. He was always a rapper. Um, I used to put, I don't know if y'all remember when Facebook had notes. You can put notes on Facebook. I used to, you know, y'all remember? Nobody ever remembers uh -huh. that. On Facebook, you could write notes. You could like, I could, I used to write poems and like acapella raps and just post them on Facebook. And then my cousin MC, he's like, man, you could like, like you got bars. Like you could, you know what I'm saying? You should try like over a beat, you know what I'm saying? And my homeboy, I see my denario, he had a studio, um, went to school together. Uh, he just used to let me stay there and record. And that's when I started taking it serious. That was like 2011, 2012. Um, but I was still trying to hoop though. I was still trying to at least, I knew I wasn't gonna make it to the league, but I was still trying to go overseas. You play um, ball in college? Yeah. Okay, where yeah. at? Um, SCU, it's in Oklahoma City. Uh -huh. um, I went to, uh, I was supposed to go to Roger State, um, but I dislocated my hip my senior year at Union. And that's, um, that coach, he just backed out because usually people don't really come back from hip injuries. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so that coach, he backed out. So I ended up going to this school called Raymond. Um, and that's kind of where like, I kind of got saved. Cause I really wasn't in the church like that. Um, that's when I got saved, but they had, a, they had a team and we would play like D2s, D1s, um, obviously our own, our own uh, conference and stuff like that. But I got a scholarship to go to an NAIA D1 out of that school. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when I went to the city. That was like 2013. That's when you went to SCU. Uh, SCU. Okay. Yep, yep. Um, and then so kind of talk about what was the what was the music like before you got saved? Like, was there where were your influences at? And then where how did that shift? You feel like if, uh, if at all it did? Yeah, no, I still got the same influences. I think uh, more so that just my influence uh, going to church like I did. Uh, people always just talked about like uh, just what you say uh, is impactful or powerful. Um, so I was just always like cognitive of that. Like I don't want to, and I got little sisters and I kind of grew up around all women. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, they used to club and stuff like that, but I don't know. I'm not a partier, so I ain't really, it's more so it's just not me. Yeah. As far as my content, you know what I'm saying? Like I just talk about stuff that's for me or that I actually do or have done or been a part of or seen. Um, I mean, indirectly, I guess you could say it's a Christian rapper, but I really don't care. Uh, but I, like I said, I still got the same influences. Like, I mean, my favorite rapper all time, still Nas. My favorite rapper right now, you know what I'm saying? Probably K Dot, Drake, Cole, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, is probably my favorite artist all time. Um, if I had to choose per producers to work with, all secular producers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just more so about uh, the content that I choose to, you know what I'm saying, talk about. For sure. Um, um, just being conscious about that.